Hi, my name is Shehroz Ahmed and uh, in this video we are going to discuss the topic on electrolysis that is the topic of uh, GCSE chemistry. So let's start off with the definition first. So let me just write down the definition over here. So electrolysis it's basically we can say it's a chemical decomposition produced by passing an electric current through a liquid is called electrolysis. So I'll write it over here. Chemical decomposition um, produced by passing electric current. Electric current through a liquid is called electrolysis a liquid is called is called electrolysis so here's the formal definition of this uh, process of electrolysis so now let me just draw a figure and uh, let me just explain you the components that we use in the process of electrolysis. So let's suppose electrolysis in simple words is basically the passing of the electric current through the liquid and that liquid could be anything, any liquid, it could be some acid, it could be some aqueous solution, it could be some uh, molten, uh, molten compound, it could be anything. So in the electrolysis we have the liquid there's the beaker in which we have the liquid then we have the two electrodes so these rods are called the electrodes they are used to conduct the electricity so um, these electrodes are uh, dipped in the liquid and they are connected with the battery so the electrode that is connected with the positive terminal of the battery is the is called the anode and the electrode that is connected with the negative terminal of the battery is called cathode so in this way we because this electrode is connected with the positive terminal so we can we can call it anode and uh, this one is the cathode all right so this liquid that is within this uh, in which the electro uh, electrodes are dipped this liquid is called electrolyte Alright, so we put our compound or liquid over here and in this liquid there are some positive ions or negative ions. The positive ions they are moved towards the cathode because cathode is a negative electrode. And uh, the negative ions they move towards the anode because it's a positive electrode. So due to this movement of the ions the current flows through this electrolyte and this whole process is called electrolysis. So uh, let's do an example by which we can explain this electrolysis. Alright, so the first el electrolysis that we have to do is for the molten NaCl. So molten NaCl means th in this electrolyte has the sodium chloride in the molten form. So it has uh, sodium ions and the negative ions. So the molten sodium chloride will split into the positive sodium ion and uh, the negative chloride ion so i'll just write the positive sodium ion and negative chloride ion in this electrolytic solution so this is positive ion of sodium and uh, this is the negative ion of the chloride i'll make another one over here another one over here so these are the positive and negative ions of sodium and chloride in this molten NaCl solution so when the current passes through the uh, these electrodes it will start off from the positive terminal and uh, pass it through these electrodes and then ends at the negative terminal. So these uh, positive ions they will move towards the cathode and these negative ions they will move towards the anode. So since there is a movement of the ion, so we can say that the current is flowing because um, the chloride negative ions are moving towards the cathode and the sodium positive ions they are moving towards the cathode chloride negative ions are moving towards the anode so this is how the process of electrolysis takes place so in the process of electrolysis we have to write down the equations the chemical equations that will be at the anode and the chemical equation that will take place at the cathode so I'll just write it over here what the reaction at anode and the reaction at cathode so first of all I'll write down the reaction at anode 
so as we can see that the chloride ions are moving towards the anode so what will happen the chloride ion it will move toward the anode so in this way the chloride ion will become chlorine gas and leaves two electron give two electrons to the anode so this will be the reaction at the anode now we have to see the reaction at the cathode so as we have seen that um, sodium ion is moving towards the cathode so we can write it over here as sodium positive ion it will accept these two electrons so there are two sodium ions that have accepted the two electrons and they have become the sodium metal so we will get the chlorine gas at the anode and the sodium metal at the cathode so this is how we can write down the equation for the reactions at the cathode and anode all right so after that one we have to discuss the electrolysis of uh, dilute nacl so dilute nacl is basically it's the, the sodium chloride that is mixed with the water so sodium chloride and water so within this electrolytic solution we, we will not only have the sodium and the chloride ions we will have the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion so the total ion that will that we will have in the electrolyte will be the sodium ion the chloride ion hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion now over here uh, let me just write it over here so we have sodium ion we have uh, hydrogen ion these are the positive ions that we have then we will have uh, hydroxide ion and the chloride ion okay so in this one we have to choose which negative ion will go towards the anode and which positive ion will go towards the cathode so for this purpose we have uh, an order of uh, uh, priority that we will give to the positive ions and the negative ions so in that order the positive ion will go towards the cathode and the negative ion will go towards the anode so I'll just write down the order of reactivity for all the positive ions and the negative ions then we will and decide which one will go at the cathode and which one go which one will go at the anode so this is the only uh, important and uh, you can say the crucial step that you have to remember in the process of electrolysis so I'll write down the order of reactivity um, so this is the order of priority for the positive ions and for the negative ions over here we have the positive ions and in this list we have the negative ions so for the positive ions we have uh, the sodium ion and the hydrogen ion so you can see the sodium ion is uh, over here and the hydrogen ion is over here so the hydrogen will has higher priority than the sodium so the hydrogen will go at the cathode so we can say this hydrogen will go at the cathode and the sodium will remain within the solution and let's see for the negative one so in the neg negative ions we have a hydroxide ion that has the higher priority this one so this hydroxide ion will go at the anode and chloride ion will remain in the solution because you see over here hydro hydroxide ion has the higher priority so this will go over here and uh, hydrogen ion will go at the cathode so the reaction equation will become like this reaction at anode at anode hydroxide ion will go at the anode so hydroxide ion it will go at the anode so it will produce the oxygen gas and it will leave two electrons so this will be the reaction at the anode and at the cathode because hydrogen ion will deposit at the cathode so this is the hydrogen ion it will accept uh, two electrons and it will form the hydrogen gas so we will have hydrogen gas at the cathode and uh, oxygen gas at the anode so this is the order of priority that you have to remember and whenever you are come across with the positive ions and the, and the negative ions in the electrolysis you have to um, basically uh, check this order of priority and according to this order of priority you will send the negative ions to the anode and the positive ions to the cathode so this is it for the best for the conceptual part of the electrolysis so now we'll move towards the some exam related questions so let's see how it goes 
all right so here we have an examinated question for the electrolysis so it says magnesium chloride is an ionic compound that can be electrolyzed figure one shows two experiment by which magnesium chloride undergoes this process so we have been this process we have been given this process in this one we have two electrodes an ele electrolytic solution in which we have uh, the molten magnesium chloride which means it has only the magnesium ions magnesium positive ion and uh, chloride negative ions and then we have uh, the magnesium and the molten magnesium chloride dissolved in water it means we have the magnesium positive ion the chloride negative ion we have the positive ion for the hydrogen and we have negative hydroxide ions so these are the two uh, experiments that we have been shown now let's move on to the quick all right so here we have the question it says explain why so solid so uh, solid magnesium chloride cannot be electrolyzed and give the necessary conditions for the elect electrolysis to occur so in the sodium uh, like in the solid magnesium chloride um, the magnesium and the chloride ions they are tightly packed they are tightly bonded by the um, uh, by the ionic bond so magnesium has positive charge and the chloride has negative charge they are connected by the strong electrostatic forces of attraction they have the ionic bond between them so in the solid form they have they exist in the form of a in in the form of a solid lattice okay so this is the first reason that you have to write it so this is the first reason that you have to write magnesium and chloride ions are tightly bonded by strong electrostatic force of attraction in solid form so that's why they are uh, they cannot be electrolyzed okay so the necessary conditions for the electrolysis to occur are it should be in the molten form or it should be in the aqueous form aqueous form means that the sodium chloride is uh, mixed with the water so when when the uh, when the magnesium chloride when the magnesium chloride ions are in the molten form then we have the positive then we have the positive magnesium ion and the negative chloride ion and when it is in the aqueous form we have also we also have the positive magnesium ions and the chloride negative ion but we uh, we also have the hydrogen positive ion and hydroxide negative ion so when they are in the molten form or in the aqueous form then they are then the ions are easily um, they, are, they they are able to move so we can say the ions will be able to move freely because they will be able to move freely that's why they can move to their respective uh, electrodes they are able to move freely therefore uh, the ions will move to their respective electrodes and the process of electrolysis will take place electro ions will move towards their respective electrodes like the positive ions will move towards the cathode and the negative ions will move towards the anode so these are the four points that you have to mention and uh, now let's move to part b okay so in this one it says justify the production of uh, magnesium metal at the cathode in experiment a so let's go back on to experiment so this is our experiment a so we have to justify that the magnesium or basically uh, the, mag the magnesium metal will form at the cathode so this is the negative electrode that is called the cathode and the other one is the positive electrode that is called the anode so let's write down the reaction at the cathode so at cathode what happens is we have right now we have uh, the magnesium positive ion and chloride negative ion so this magnesium ion positive ion will move towards the cathode and the reaction that will happen at the cathode will be like this mg plus 2 it will go at the cathode and it will accept two electrons so when it accepts two electron it will become magnesium metal so we have two atoms of magnesium metal that will that will uh, be formed at the cathode so this is the reaction that we can write for the um, magnesium metal uh, so the points that I have to mention is number one magnesium positive ion will move towards cathode will move towards cathode it accepts two electrons from cathode or it accepts two electrons from yeah from cathode 
and then we have to write down the chemical equation like the reaction that will occur at the cathode so it's like mg plus 2 because it has a plus 2 charge so it will accept two more electrons and uh, once it accepts it it will become magnesium metal so then you can say it accepts the two electron and magnesium metal will be formed at cathode will be formed at cathode so these are the points that you have to mention to justify your answer that the magnesium metal will form at the um, cathode now it's in part c it says identify the gas produced at the cathode in experiment b so now we have to check the experiment b and uh, in experiment b we have to check like which gas will be produced and uh, which ion will go towards the cathode in experiment all right so here we have the experiment b so in the experiment b we have the molten magnesium chloride which means we have uh, mg plus 2 ion in the solution we have chloride negative ion in the solution we have uh, hydrogen positive ion in the solution because it's uh, molten magnesium chloride dissolved in water so due to the water we have hydrogen positive ion and hydroxide negative ion so the ion that are that will be that will go towards the negative electrode will be hydrogen positive ion and the magnesium positive ion so in these two ion as we have discussed in our order of priority hydrogen has the higher priority th priority than the magnesium metal so this hydrogen ion will go at the negative electrode and it will become and basically it will accept the electron and hydrogen gas will be produced at the cathode so the answer for that question is hydrogen gas so i'll write it here as hydrogen gas now explain why magnesium is not produced at the cathode in experiment b because according to the order of priority um, hydrogen has uh, uh, be because magnesium is more reactive than hydrogen so the magnesium will remain inside the electrolyte and hydrogen will produce at the cathode so i'll write it here so basically the ions that are more reactive they remain in the solution and the ones that they are um, that are less reactive they move towards the uh, electrode their respective electrode if it's positive it will move towards the cathode if it's negative ion it will move towards the anode so i'll write it here magnesium is more reactive than hydrogen so i just write magnesium positive ion then hydrogen negative uh, hydrogen positive ion so it will remain in the solution in solution and um, hydrogen gas or hydrogen ion will go towards cathode and produce hydrogen gas H2 gas okay now part E it says balance half equation which occurs at the anode so anode okay so basically over here there's a small error this is Cl2 so two ions of chloride produces on the chlorine gas at the anode and as a result of that it will also produce it will give off um, two electrons to the anode so this is the question for the electrolysis it's an exam related GCSE chemistry question for the electrolysis that I have done in front of you so the most important thing that you have to remember in the process of elect electrolysis is the decision the decision that which ion will go towards the anode and which ion go will go towards the cathode like it's it's quite obvious that the positive ions will go towards the anode and uh, will go towards the cathode and the negative ions will go towards the anode but the order of priority is very important so for that purpose you have to remember the list that i have um, that I, I wrote in the concept part you just have to go through that list or basically you have to memorize that and in that way you will be able to decide what will happen at the cathode and what will happen at the anode so um, this is it for this uh, topic 
I hope you I hope you liked it so I hope you understood my con like the video so thank you so much